In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to embed the menu maker object inside your HTML code and assumingly that you've already created your menu menu uh, menu maker object and in my case it looks something like this. And now for the purpose of this tutorial I've created a folder which I called a tutorial and as you can see these are all my files that I'm using. Uh, basically I have some JavaScript files that control like this one and that one it doesn't make er, it doesn't make any sense the, the the icon here it doesn't matter and these are my gifs files and this is my menu which I've shown you earlier which is this one and now I'm going to create my index HTML page I'm going to create it right here I'm using uh, Dreamweaver but that that doesn't matter you can use any program you like so this is the code and I'm going to save it as my index HTML this is just the basic let me find my tutorial this is going to be called index.html so there we have it we have our first html page now basically this is a this is a blank it contains absolutely nothing it has no title the beginning of the head and the body and the closing the html now how do we insert this code inside and inside our HTML body. So let's let's just take a look at the code that we have here. This is our menu code. Now, if I open it with uh, any program, I'm uh, opening it with the uh, Dreamweaver because I have Dreamweaver. You can open it with a Notepad. What we want here is just this single line of code. As you can see, it refers to the menu script src means source zara menu javascript and this is the close tag then it begins again the sub menu script menu maker source afterglow javascript what you need to do is just copy this single line of code i'm going to copy it and just paste it paste it now where where would you like to paste it now that's the problem let's say that I'm creating uh, creating a table I will go to my design mode I'm creating a table and let's just say that it will have two rows and three columns I will click OK And there we have it. You can see the all. Uh, you can see all of the table, but you can see. You can imagine it. It it has three columns and two rows. Now let's say, for example, that this will be my text, my left text. This is my left column, and this is my header, and this is going to be my right column okay so let's let's just say that I want to put my menu in here right in the middle right in here so I will put my I, I will put my text in here just to show you where it appears in the card so this is my menu maker menu and when I go to the card I can see that it appears right in here. Now let's let's just say that I have completely no knowledge of HTML, but I can figure out that if my text appears in here, then I need to put my line of code right in this area. Now you remember that I copied this line right here. I'm going to copy it again so basically I just need to delete this line and just paste it right over here like so 
Now you don't see any changes right here, but it doesn't matter. If I'm going to preview this in my browser, I'm going to hit F12 in the Dreamweaver. As you can see, we have this messed up code. My uh, this is my left column. This is my header. You remember the table? I just set it to no borders, so you can cannot see the borders. But this is my menu right here. It's right in the middle. Now let's just say that you. This is my index file right in here. Let's just say that you want your index file in a different folder. Uh, in this example, I'm going to copy my menu maker code, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to create a subfolder, oh, my computer is a bit slow now, All right. and I'm going to give it a different name, I'm going to create a subfolder and call it menu maker, menu maker. This is our, uh, going to be my subfolder and I don't want to mess with too many files in my main uh, folder so I'm going to put it alright so basically what we have here now is uh, in the main folder I have only my index HTML page and all my menus all my menu maker files are inside the subfolder which is called menu maker now if you remember the source in this code refers to Zara menu dot js now we've created a subfolder which means this file is not does not longer exist in the same location so we need to fix that and to do that we just only need to type in the subfolder name which is menu maker slash zara menu dot javascript same goes for here menu maker slash afterglow javascript so let's see let's just save it and see what have we got works perfectly fine and basically that's the way that you do it and i hope it's been uh, helpful thank you for watching and see you again next time